Hey folks, so it is day 14 and we're gonna do a quick little check-in on our zucchini baby, see how it's doing, how it's settling in, and then chat through what's happening over the course of the next seven days here. Alrighty, and as we can see here, this baby is doing so well, it is so happy. And what we can very clearly, very distinctly see here is that this is a true leaf here, which is much different than the seed leaves, which we're seeing up here. And this is one of the things about zucchinis and cucumbers, our melons, our squashes, is that once they start growing, they are off to the races, which is why we don't wanna start them super, super early on because they're gonna take up so much space inside. And so when we look at this zucchini baby relative to some of our other plants that would be on day 14, like our tomato or our basils, we can barely even see those first sets of true leaves on those ones versus with this zucchini, they are right there and it is really, really starting to grow fast. So much so that if we look at the bottom there, what we can see is that we've already got roots that are coming through the bottom, um, which is just a sign of how developed that root system already is on this zucchini baby here. So it's doing all good. It is off to the races here. Now, one thing that we would want to be thinking through is that if none of your squash or your zucchini babies have started, then this is the perfect time to start a new set of seeds and to try again on getting some of them started there. Or if say you were hoping to have four zucchini plants, but only two of them germinated, this is the perfect time to start those extra seeds to get those extra two plants into your beds. They'll be a little bit you know, behind this baby when we move them into their forever home, but the season is so long that we're gonna have plenty of time for them to still be able to produce lots and lots of fruit. So right now, if you haven't had any of your plant babies successfully germinate and begin to grow, perfect time to start a new set of seeds. And please, 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 please do reach out to us if none of them started. I would love to help troubleshoot this for you to make sure that you do have success with this next round of seeds that you would be starting. For those of us that do have plant babies that are growing, um, it's really going to be business as usual over the course of the next seven days. So with this baby, all that we're going to be doing is popping it back underneath the grow light 12 to 13 hours per day, one turkey based of water every two to three days, and allow it just to do its thing, settle in and begin to put on some of that growth there. All right, and so the next video in this playlist is our day 28 check-in. And we're gonna fast forward to day 28 because between now and then, our babies are just gonna be hanging out underneath the grow light, getting their sun, getting a little bit of water, and that's about all. But on day 28, I've got a watering challenge for you. So if you wanna get a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of what things will be looking like for your zucchini babies over the course of the next couple of weeks here, and I really encourage you to check out what that video has in store for you. And you can do so by clicking on the tile right here, which will take you directly over to that video. Otherwise, that's all that I wanted to cover off on for today. If you do have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. Other than that, you're doing amazing, and I'll catch you on that next video, which can be found right here.